The ultimate seven day meal plan for lowering your blood sugar. Well, you always ask me, what am I gonna eat? What should I eat, right? Well, I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergen. I'm an endocrinologist, a diabetes specialist, and today I'm gonna be your chef. Are you tired of constantly having to monitor blood sugar levels and not knowing what's gonna happen with what you eat? Or just feeling limited in your food choices? Well, Look no further because I'm going to give you this meal plan and it's going to help you. So say goodbye to those bland, restrictive diets and hello to delicious and nutritious meals that will not only lower your blood sugar but also satisfy your taste buds. Now, before we dive into the meal plan, let's take a moment to understand why it is important to keep blood sugar levels in check. Well, as you know, high blood sugar levels, by mean I that over 180 milligram per deciliter in milligram per deciliter, not millimole, right? So I guess you can make the conversion if you're a European watcher. But if you go over that, it creates a lot of health problems. The high blood sugar starts hitting your arteries, cause heart disease, nerve damage, and you name it, and kidney damage too. And the eyes, of course. By monitoring and maintaining healthy levels though, we can reduce all of these complications and improve our health. Now, let's get into the diet, this meal plan for you. I have carefully crafted, I have discussed a few nutritions about this, and you wanted to come up with some balanced meals that are low in sugar, high in fiber, and packed with essential vitamins and minerals. So each day's menu includes three main meals, right? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, if you want to skip meals, as long as you're not going to overeat the next meal, that's okay. If you're intermittent fasting, that's okay. You don't have to eat three times a day. But for those who does, these are the options. Number one, the day one, breakfast. We're going to start with avocado toast on low-carb bread, like any alternative of your choice, with some scrambled eggs and a side of berries. Now for lunch, you will have grilled chicken salad with mixed greens. Put some cherry tomatoes, cucumber, and balsamic dressing, and voila. Delicious Italian style. Now, what are you going to do with dinner? Well, if you're still hungry, you can bake some salmon with some quinoa and some roasted vegetables such as broccoli, bell peppers, and carrots. If you want a snacking, like if you're still hungry, like after dinner, a couple hours later, or before dinner, it's okay to have some apple slices with almond butter and a handful of unsalted almonds. Perfect. Now, day two. Another day, right? We're going to do breakfast again. So, if you're going to do think about the breakfast tomorrow, we're going to overnight some chia seeds in some almond milk. And you can add some cream if you want to make it even creamier. And of course, you have to have this fresh fruit such as blueberries and strawberries on top. And maybe walnuts if you want to add walnuts too. Now for lunch, we're going to go for turkey and hummus. Well, it's going to be a wrap with low-carb tortilla, okay? Most, most low-carb tortillas have like less than 5 grams. You can use lettuce, tomato, and cucumber as well. Now for dinner, we're going to do stir-fried tofu with vegetables such as bell peppers, mushrooms, and onions. You can serve it over shiitake rice, for example. Uh, or cauliflower rice. If you're able to, if you're able to tolerate, I say go for the brown rice if you really want to do that. Now for the snacks, you can always do some carrots and cucumbers, uh, those slices with some hummus dip that you had earlier. Well, day three, we're gonna go for this time for the breakfast: Greek yogurt parfait with some fresh berries, almonds, and a drizzle of honey if you really need that sweetness, but a drizzle, not a whole bunch. Now. For lunch, we're going to have some quinoa, vegetable soup. You can add some beans for extra protein if you want to. And for dinner, we're going to have this nice grilled lean steak, hopefully from a grass-fed animal, with roasted sweet potatoes and steamed broccoli. Snacks? Of course, right? For those snackers, it's okay to have hard-boiled egg and a small piece of fruit, especially if you're working out a lot and you're getting hungry a lot. That's a good snack protein packed. Day four. Well, another breakfast. This time we're going to make it a little different. We're going to have a veggie omelet, right? 
You can use a non-starchy vegetables like spinach, mushrooms, onions, and, and if you want to have a little bit of a whole grain toast, that's okay. For lunch, we're going to have some baked chicken with zucchini noodles and some marinara sauce. And for dinner, you're going to have some shrimp and vegetable stir fry with some brown rice or shirataki rice or cauliflower rice. So next, celery sticks with peanut butter and a small handful of walnuts will be perfect. Day number five, breakfast again. Well, you can have a whole grain toast or any other bread that is low in carb that you can toast. You can top it with some mashed avocado again, sliced tomatoes and some poached egg. Perfect. Lunch, you're going to have some lentil soup. We talked about this lentil soup a lot, right, in other videos. So lentil soup served with a side of mixed greens and a lemon vinaigrette dressing. Awesome. Delicious. For dinner, you're going to have some grilled fish with steamed vegetables such as asparagus, zucchini, or yellow squash. And quinoa, of course. Quinoa is my favorite. So next, berries with cottage cheese, right? Cottage cheese is always good with anything. And you can sprinkle a dash of cinnamon on that as well. Day number six, well, if you want to have your smoothie at least once a week, that's your day. Because we're going to have smoothie made with almond milk. If you hate the almond milk, it's okay, choose another milk. But almond milk is typically the best for diabetics. You can add some spinach um, green. You can do bananas a little bit, especially the greener ones. And a scoop of protein powder. You're good to go. If you want to put a, one or two Splendas, that's fine. For lunch, we're going to do turkey and cheese roll-ups roll with lettuce, tomato, avocado, and cucumber served with a side of fruit salad. For dinner, we're going to have some baked chicken breast with roasted Brussels sprouts and some rice of your choice. Not the white rice, of course. The ones that we already said to you, like shirataki or uh, cauliflower. Snacks, again, sliced apple with some cheddar cheese slices will be perfect. Now, last day, the breakfast, fluffy almond flour pancakes. Why do I say almond flour pancakes? Because it's totally different game. It's not the same pancake. The carb amount in there is so low. And you can do a, a little bit of a Greek yogurt and a handful of crushed berries. And if you're a little bit adventurous, sprinkle on some chia seeds for an extra health kick. For lunch, you ready for some tuna salad? made with some Greek yogurt instead of mayo, right? Served on low-carb crackers with carrot sticks on the side. For dinner, again, that's our second salmon of the week with parsnip mash, for example, or mashed parsnip, steamed green beans, right? Snacks, air-popped popcorn. That's your weekend, right? Sprinkled with some nutritional yeast for added flavor if you want to. Here are some extra tips for optimum glucose control, though. So that's your diet plan for the week, right? While the meal plan is a stellar start, we have got a secret weapon to boost your blood sugar to the next level. You should incorporate SugarMD's glucodefense, the superberberine, alpha-lipoic acid, benfotiamine into your daily routine. Well, these are by no means are magical potions, but they certainly pack a punch when it comes to glucose management. Remember, good health is a marathon, not a sprint, and every little step counts. So don't forget to take your supplements along with these scrumptious meals for the ultimate power combo in blood sugar control. There you have it. That's your seven days of delicious and healthy meals to help you lower your blood sugar levels. But don't stop here. Feel free to mix and match meals from different days or Come up with your own uh, variations. It's all up to you. Remember, healthy eating doesn't have to be boring or restrictive. With a bit of creativity and some tasty ingredients, you can enjoy a variety of meals while keeping your blood sugar in check. Thanks for watching. Bon appetit. Remember to visit sugarmds.com. Remember to give a thumbs up and share this video. I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.